future of iPhone and I'm going to discuss today about uh, performing combined operations. So we have performing combined operations. So when we say uh, performing combined operations, this time we are going to use two or more operations. But before we will proceed on that, let's, let's review first the four fundamental operations. What are the four fundamental operations? Number one, we have here addition. Okay, addition in Thai you call this as kan buang. Then we have here number two, subtraction. We have kan lo. Then multiplication kan kun and division kan han. So these are the four fundamental operations in mathematics: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So in our lesson today, we are going to use two or more operations. Okay, let us now proceed about solving combined operations. So we are going to perform combined operations. So what are the steps in performing combined operations? So these are the order of the operations that we need to follow. Okay, so first, if there is a parenthesis in a given uh, mathematical problem, you need first to do the operation inside the parenthesis. Parenthesis in Thai, you call this as the walklet. Okay? So if there is a parenthesis in a mathematical problem, you need to do first the operation inside the parenthesis. Like for example, 2 plus 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is inside the parenthesis. So you need first to do the operation inside the parenthesis, which is multiplication. So you need to multiply 3 times 4, which is 12. Then, that, after that, that is the time that you can add 2. And the answer, the final answer, we have 12 plus 2, we have, the final answer is 14. So if there is a parenthesis in a given mathematical problem, you need first to do the operation inside the parenthesis. Okay, now let us proceed about letter E in the acronym. FEMDAS, letter E stands for exponent. But grade 4, uh, sorry, grade 5 and grade 6, you don't have yet this uh, set of numbers uh, on your lessons. So you maybe you will encounter this when uh, you reach Mateum level, okay? So never mind letter E. E exponent in Thai, you call this as the yukang la. Like for example, 2 to the third power. As I said a while ago, never mind about exponents. Because grade 5 and grade 6, you don't have yet this topic, okay? So maybe in the future you will have this. So, But for now, let's proceed to step number 3. Okay, step number 3, M and D stands for uh, multiplication and division. So we are now dealing with the four fundamental operations or the basic operations in mathematics. So in step number three, if in case that there are uh, multiplications and division in a given uh, mathematical sentence or mathematical problem, you need first to solve for multiplication and division. And doesn't matter which comes first as long as you are performing the operations from left to right. Remember from left to right and as as i said a while ago it doesn't matter which comes first so as long as you perform the operation from left to right okay so i will give you some example uh some examples okay for example we have example number one we have six divided by two times four so we have division and multiplication, so we will perform the operations from left to right. So in this case, we need to do first division. So we have here 6 divided by 2, which is 3, times 4, which is equals to 12. So the final answer is equals to 12, okay? Then example number 2, we have here 2 times 3 divided by 6, so we will perform the operations from left to right. So we need to do first multiplication here. We have 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is equals to 1. So that's it. Very easy. So it doesn't really matter which comes first as long as you perform the operations from left to right. Okay, now let us proceed on the fourth step. Number four, step number four stands for addition and 
subtraction. So the same as in multiplication and division, it doesn't really matter which comes first. As long as you perform the operation from left to right, so you will also do the same thing here in addition and subtraction. You will perform the operation from left to right. Okay? Like for example, 2 plus 3 minus 4. So 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 minus 4 which is equals to 1. So we perform the operation from left to right. And that's it guys. Just remember the acronym FEMDAS. FEMDAS means parenthesis E exponent. Never mind exponent. M and D multiplication and division. A and S addition and subtraction. Okay. So very easy. Just FEMDAS. FEMDAS. Okay. So. I will give you uh, some more examples about performing combined operations and this time we will be uh, using bigger numbers, maybe thousands or millions, okay? So, be ready. One more note, do first multiplication or division before addition or subtraction. Okay, I will give you now some other examples about performing combined operations, okay? So we have here exercises, find answers, and some other book. So just 
got is 24,500 minus 105 divided by 5 is 21 then subtract. So we have here now 24,500 minus 21. So 0 minus 1 cannot be. We cannot borrow 1 here. So we have to borrow 1 here. So we have 4. So we have 9. So we have to borrow 1. Number three, we will be using here more than one parenthesis. Okay, so let's do that. So, 
the bracket serve as the longer parenthesis. Okay? And to solve this, we need to focus what is inside the bracket or the longer parenthesis. So what is inside is this problem. So just focus about what is inside. So just copy the bracket. So we have 2 plus. So we have 2 plus 9 divided by 3. Then in the parenthesis here, we need to do first the operation inside the parenthesis. So we have 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then plus 100. And now we have this term as a parenthesis. The bracket term as a parenthesis. So we have 2 plus 3. We have 5 plus 100. So the final answer is 5 plus 100. We have 100. Some about week and I will send that to you at home. Just wait there and once again, teacher Mike.